Howdy, 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 my darling Scorpio. How are you doing? So my name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading for June, Scorpio. So be sure to ch uh, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio, if you enjoy this tarot reading here today. All right, but let's just jump right into your tarot reading, right? Enough of the, the niceties, right? We have the Queen of Pentacles stepping forward to you. The Five of Wands coming in here as well as the lover's energy Ooh. <laughs> all right so immediately what comes to mind when i think about these first three cards coming in here scorpio is that one k and i'm not a fan of katy perry darling <laughs> personally but this is very much so like the song where uh the phrase where it's just like kiss and make up um from hot and cold and that's a throwback darling um and I feel like very much so for you guys right now, you guys are going to, it's like, <laughs> it's going to be very specific, but I see you guys, like, you have like one more argument with someone that you care deeply about, and that's what's going to bring you guys back together here. You know, it's almost the sense for some of you Scorpios where it's like, what brings you back together with your best friend, with your lover, is having to check somebody else, darling, having to uh, correct someone else's disrespect towards y'all or ha handling like a conflict together some of you guys it's just the sense of where it's like one of y'all barge into the other person's house and it's just like we're gonna talk about this we're going to figure this out whether we fight through with through this we're blood sweat and tears darling we're going to see this to the end because we're going to make sure that this relationship this friendship works out all right you ha may have been noticing when it came to this friendship where on your side of things the problem for you was where you feel like you were not being appreciated here scorpio due to this queen of pentacles well, that's not the queen of pentacles due to this queen of pentacles scorpio this is a card of where it's just like uh, yeah it's like for you 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 were wanting to know when it's your turn to feel spoiled when is it your turn to be appreciated when is it your turn to be chased rather than you being the one that puts in all the effort i feel like for you the reason why you have your feelings about the situation with this connection here with this job whatever the situation is is that you just felt underappreciated i feel like you just want words of affirmation you want physical action you want it's not just one specific thing that i feel like you need Need, Scorpio I feel like you need just reminders and all like you just want more effort overall not just in a way of words of affirmation not just through gifts like you want it to be all-encompassing because for you it's almost like this with this relationship there's always been like this pattern where it's just like they will always just like buy you a gift or they'll just say like the same thing to get back on your good side and then it doesn't really resolve the problem right and i feel like you're wanting to get to the heart of the problem here because i feel like you cannot manage the stress anymore it's not that as if you're unable to manage the stress because you're fully capable of handling all this and then some honey all right let's keep that clear scorpio but for you it's like this relationship has just been way too taxing for you this job has been way too taxing for you because it's just like you're not getting anything out of it anymore you're having to constantly self-sacrifice and what do you get in result seemingly disrespect seemingly the situation where you are not being appreciated and everything that you do they just take for granted and when you bring something up they always just say the same thing and pretend like they never actually truly address the problem here all right so what's going on on this other side here seven of cups coming in here as well as the five of swords coming in Mm. So this is interesting, Scorpio, because it's like uh, they don't want you to have other options here. They don't like this idea of you, Scorpio, getting your you <laughs> getting your kick, getting your um, getting your fill, uh, getting your just like getting your satisfaction from other people and from other situations. It's the sense for you, Scorpio, where I want to just give you guys the heads up in that people already acknowledge who you are Scorpio like you may feel like you're being underappreciated and on some level you probably are but people know your potential people value like understand your value 
And so it's like when you are accessible to them, they don't want you to be accessible to anybody else. That's what I feel with this. It's like, you know, very much so if we're going to go into like a romantic type of situation for probably about like 30 percent of you Scorpios. This is like a situation where it's like this person doesn't give you like the love affirmations that you need. Like they won't say the L word to you. They won't say I love you. They won't show commitment to you. But the moment you start trying to move on and find someone that would actually show commitment to you. You, that's when you'll start getting the text messages from them that's when you start well you'll start noticing them acting different and being like um it's almost like giving you like some breadcrumbs to be like oh no scorpio like don't go looking at, don't go looking to anyone else to give you that loaf of bread here are some breadcrumbs to show you that i have the potential in giving you the whole loaf of bread but they never actually end up giving you that whole loaf i hope my analogies don't end up confusing you guys because i speak better in analogies because i feel like <laughs> analogies just express the meaning of these uh, the scenario the energy of these cards more and it's important for general readings to have it in that way that's what i feel with this it's like the moment you start moving on they start giving you those breadcrumbs and i feel as if you cannot play this cat and mouse game with them anymore that tom and jerry game where um because i feel like this has been like a repetitive thing you may have already been aware about like the breadcrumb aspect of it but for some reason this person has just like this situation has just had a soft spot in your heart here yeah you've been very stubborn about it when it comes to this relationship but i do feel as if you guys are now getting to this point of and really it's a necessary thing all right for you guys to start putting your foot down with this i feel like scorpio you need to start showing a different side of yourself when it comes to this situation here all right you need to you need to come out be a little bit more of uh can i just say it scorpio you need to come off as more of a bitch all right darling you need to come off as more of a bitch here you need to wake this person up wake the situation up to who you actually are because i feel as if scorpio they don't see like they don't see the dark side that you actually could be right they don't realize like how much you actually spare their feelings because of like the soft spot that you have for them this this makes me think about um on um, there's like on the uh there's this <laughs> i've watched this on the nature documentaries and it's a scenario that's coming to my mind where it's just like there are these tarantulas um and they the big tarantulas and they keep these small frogs that normally these tarantulas would just normally like i mean just eat but they keep them inside in their uh in their home because they eat the bugs and what have you but at any moment in time that tarantula could just switch on that frog and be like you know what darling i'm feeling pretty hungry and you're taking up too much space in this room and you're not paying enough rent in this place darling right they don't real like this frog doesn't realize your capabilities right it's like this frog doesn't think because like you've allowed their behavior to go on for so long this frog is being a little bit too complacent here <laughs> i don't know why i'm like really leaning into this hopefully please let me know in the comments below scorpio if you know the documentary that i'm talking about because there's just like some nature documentary that like covered that but uh yeah let's see here let's do one bird shuffle before we start clarifying this yeah scorpio i feel like if you're wanting to have some type of action some type of shift when it comes to this relationship you have to you have to give this a little bit more tough love all right, you have to give this a little bit more tough love. We have here, clarifying this, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Discs, as well as the Three of Wands in the reverse here. I'm going to be honest here, Scorpio. I see the situation not changing. All right, if I'm going to be very blunt, I see the situation not changing unless you give them that rock bottom situation and that rock bottom and their uh, scenario would be completely losing you. Their rock bottom would be realizing that um, like, I mean, I feel like they need to experience a little bit of tough love here, Scorpio. You can't just be speak about it and say about it. You have to be about it with them. You have to, like, scare them a little bit, darling. All right. You have to um, not only just op open the door, but you have to start walking out to that door and not look back when they say your name a few times here. All right. You have to scare them a little bit into change because it's like you know from their point of view that you know let's just humanize them for a little bit here their their intent might be wanting to change each time the problems come up but then they end up going back into their same habits because uh the 
they never actually learn their lesson. There was never really a lesson that was had. It was just like they get yelled, you know, when you get yelled, like if you go into a store and you steal a bunch of food and all that happens is you get yelled at. I mean, all you, I mean, you just get yelled at, but you still have all this extra food, right? And so what i see for you guys right now scorpio is that you have to be willing to just drop all of their baggage no longer providing for them all right you need to be the one to make them chase after you stop being the one that always communicates to them so you guys need like get this sense that you need to cut off communication a little bit here you need to force them to start the conversation and even when they start conversating with you you need to be short with them all right. They need to like it's the phrase of where it's like they need to earn their keep. I heard someone's spiritual guide say that. So it's like they need to start earning their keep. They need to start uh, showing their worth here to you. All right. <clears throat> I feel as if when it comes to this relationship ship here, Scorpio, that this is just like a matter of like sticking to your guns, sticking to your guns here. Now we have this two of swords energy here. Now in this deck with the two of swords energy, I, on a personal level here, darling, all right, I don't trust it, all right? But y'all are adults. Y'all know this person more than I would, all right? This is just a general reading, but uh, watch your back with this, all right? Watch your back with this. I just get the sensation that they just don't have your best interest at heart, truly, all right? And so ask your spiritual team to start revealing this, revealing their true colors to you through certain events and it's almost as if yeah you get this understanding of like where they actually stand with you through conflict all right like you know are they actually going to stick by you when times get tough are they actually just going to end up stabbing you in the back when it better benefits them when you know when you no longer are of use to them when you're not the one putting in all the effort and they have to work for it they may not be willing to work for it and that shows to you where you value where you're valued on their totem pole all right so i'll just i just wanted to say that i felt drawn to just pull these extra cards all right so i'm not saying there's anything malicious but i do feel as if there's something a little bit more going on than you might be fully aware about or you might have had like a little bit of an intuition about it a little bit but i've never had any type of outside affirmation so you might have just like dismissed it as you being um in a bad mood or what have you there's something that's up. There's something that's going on with this energy. And it may have nothing to do with you. They may have something else going on. But it's like something's going on here that you're not aware about. And just watch your back with that. All right, Scorpio. So that's the reading that I have for you, darling. If you enjoyed this tarot reading here today, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, my website's linked down below. Simply Velka dot com next to my social media is tiktok and instagram both being simply welcome all right but until next time my darling i will see you in my future videos hopefully i love you so much scorpio bye